Hot off the press, Universal and Bloom House just announced they are remaking the thing. And normally I'd roll my eyes at this and you would too. So before you get your panties in a twist, hear me out. What is up guys? The Thing is one of my all time favorite films. It's my number two favorite film of all time behind Halloween. It's a masterpiece. It really is. It's the film that Carpenter is the most proud of. As we all know, The Thing is a remake of 1951's The Thing from Another World. So today they just announced Bloomhouse and Universal, they're gonna remake The Thing. I just saw this on Twitter literally like 10 minutes ago. The first thing that came to my mind was don't make the same mistake that you made with the prequel. Give us practical effects for this movie. And I actually went to Twitter and I posted, I'll show you what I posted, hold on. Yeah, that's what I posted right there. Practical, 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 practical. I can't say practical. You try to say practical five times in a row. But um, immediately after I posted that, people just started tweeting and retweeting, 85 likes, 10 retweets at this point. That's not because of me. That's because people want practical effects for the thing more than any other property. We don't mind CGI if it's used uh, appropriately, but there are certain properties that require practical effects and the thing is one of them. Um, blame Rob Bottin. The guy made the most amazing effects that you could possibly imagine. So the idea of doing the thing without practical effects with CGI, I mean, did we learn our lesson from what happened with the prequel? And let me just say this guys, I like the prequel. I really do. I think it's a solid story. I think it marries up to John Carpenter's The Thing perfectly. I can still watch it. I can still have a good time with it. But I, I do cringe uh, sometimes when I see those uh, CGI effects. And it, it's even sadder because practical effects were actually made for the movie and used. But they scrapped it and they ended up going CGI. I don't know if they just had cold feet. I know it was a lot to do with the money and the budget. There was a few things that factored in and you would think that CGI would cost more, but sometimes that's just not the case. Now there's more to this too. This is not gonna be just an adaptation to the original novella. Um, uh, the, the original novella penned by John W. Campbell Jr. was called Who Goes There? And I got the story up right now. But John Campbell Jr. originally wrote an entire novel, a book called Frozen Hell. Uh, back when it was published, they only optioned the novella. So the full book was never published. Yeah, it says right here, back in 2018, John Betancourt announced the discovery of a novel-length version of the classic novella, and he took to Kickstarter to fund the release of the novel. The novel was called Frozen Hell. So Universal and Bloomhouse, they're actually going to make the thing based on frozen hell, not just the who goes there novella. Of course, we're gonna get a lot of uh, what we saw in John Carpenter's, uh, some stuff that we saw in the, the thing from another world, but we're probably gonna see things that we've never even seen before in the thing. That could be good, that could be bad, but I'm really curious about this original novel. So anyway, guys, real quick down and dirty, that's my update for this. I'm actually excited for this based on the news of this original novel, Frozen Hell. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm not saying this movie is going to be great or anything. It could be complete shit. It could be completely bad. I will bet that they will not listen to me and you and put complete practical effects in this movie. I'm sure they're still going to use CGI. Could the CGI look good? Yes, it could. A lot of questions could be asked about this movie. But if they can recreate practical effects like Rob Bottin did almost 40 years ago, uh, wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be insane to have a movie that actually defies current technology and says, no, we're going to do this right. We're going to make the movie that this property deserves. I think that'd be awesome. Anyway, post in the comments your thoughts on this. Looking forward to hearing them. Uh, also, I changed up my backdrop with the, the LED lighting. I put it red instead of blue. Let me know if you uh, actually dig this. I might try some different colors from time to time. This is the first time I've done that. Usually I just go with the blue. And Myers looks sexy as hell up there with the red backlighting, I must admit. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do Free for Fridays. Follow me at Dum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and drum dum out.